Kao viewers, today we're going to be cleaning out a Dell Optiplex 9030 computer. The 9020 is really the last all-in-one unit that I kind of liked. This one is okay, but it lacks a lot of ports that I like to have. It doesn't have audio in, it only has audio out. Unless that can serve as either one, I'm not certain. I'll have to look at the specification sheet. It has HDMI in, which is kind of curious. I wonder if this can operate as just like a secondary monitor. It does have USB 3 ports, an adequate quantity of USB 2 ports, with an additional two on the side. But it does not have a VGA output which is typically what I like to use it does still have Ethernet you know but if you're using if you're not using a secondary monitor then, then I guess it's okay and I don't use audio in all that much but there are definitely occasions where I use it so these are pretty toolless to take apart there's a button here you press that in and then the stand is supposed to lift up it doesn't come out real nicely but does work and then at this point I believe these two switches have to be slid outwards to unlock it and then it should oh I guess that's irrelevant because this this comes up oh that is relevant okay so outwards is unlocked now we're inside. So I will give it to them that at least this was built to be fairly easily serviced. The uh, RAM is under there. The drive is under this whole thing. I'll just go through how to do that. Just, just for explanatory purposes. There's the memory. Very easy to change, replace, upgrade. And then this whole thing, this presses down and this, this slides out. And then you have access to your drive. It's a standard two and a half inch drive. And your CMOS battery is right there in plain sight. Wireless quad. So, you know, for what it's worth, this is pretty easily serviced still. And this was made in 2015. So it's kind of past the era of the hardware that I usually have interest in. But this is respectable enough that I would still use it. So we have, we got two, two fans in here that we need to clean out. We have the heat sink fan. The heat sink, they're both heat sink fans. There are, we have the power supply fan, which uh, has one screw to take it out. Well, actually, we're not going to take out the fan. We're just going to take this thing out. And that should give us access to to the power supply and the vent. What is the problem here? I thought this came out toollessly, maybe not. Maybe we gotta undo this too. This is a little bit more complicated than I thought it was. Oh, maybe it's not. I don't know what the difficulty was just there. Whatever. Okay. So that's out now, and you can see that the dust is starting to accumulate there, which is not good. So we got to get that off of there. I'm going to hold it upright and uh, start by drafting here in the top. off on the bottom boy the bit was 
in here. I'm gonna put the air filter on because that made a big cloud of dust. I don't like that it's kind of pushed all the dust up through the power supply, but I mean there's not really much else you can do. I still think it's better than than it was before we started the video. This doesn't really matter if there's dust on here or not. Get it off while we're in here. The screw for that piece is right up here on the top left. That's in place. And now for the, the processor fee, which is which is um, dangerously dirty, that's going to really start to reduce the performance of the fee. You can only get to small portion of it, but I think that's adequate for the cleaning. really want to get the other side of the radiator. Uh, I'll, I'll push the air back through here. Uh, let's see if that's going to... Let's see how much comes out. Yeah, enough is coming out. I'm seeing it. big clumps of dust in there, cheese. It's all over the table, so it is coming out. And these things are only so powerful too, you know. Proper air compressor is better. Alright, that's good enough. Bit of dust accumulation down there. Let's get that out of there. Make sure the ports are clean. Okay. Get this one quick. I have to admit, I'm su very surprised, pleasantly surprised, at uh, how easily serviced that is. Very good design, especially for a newer product. 